happy fall. As of right now, we are ringing in October. Um, tonight, I am hosting a little fall party. As you can see, we have a lot going on. Perfect, just how I like it. <laughs> no, but I'm having a couple of friends over just to have some fall foods and do some little fall activities. Nothing too crazy, but I just wanted to get in the practice of hosting a little more, even if it's nothing too extravagant. I really like having people over. Sometimes though in a small apartment, it feels like you shouldn't because you're in one room and it's like, ta-da, that's the entertainment for the evening. But I am excited. I've got, like I said, food to prepare and some crafts to set up. So I thought I would bring you along with me while we get the house prepared. So definitely gotta get ready as well. But first I wanna get a couple of the treats prepared, a few more of the decorations kind of put out where I want them. And yeah, get ready for a really, really good night. I think the fall is an excellent time to celebrate. Uh, just this season I feel like is really beautiful. And a lot of people I feel like see this time of year as like we're going into like the kind of the gloominess, but I, I think I love it. I love, <laughs> I love the chill in the air. I love leaves changing color. And even when the trees are bare, that's just, that's my kind of day. So I'm really excited that we are finally um, getting into these exciting months. First, I'm going to make a pumpkin pie dip is what it's called, but super simple. You basically take Cool Whip, cream cheese, pumpkin, some pumpkin pie spice, mix it together. And we dip graham crackers and those Scooby-Doo snacks in it. Hold on. Let me get them. <laughs> these we dip these bad boys in there so just gonna whip that together in my mixer really fast and then i'm gonna start um clean out that mixer and make my pumpkin chocolate chip cookies in there as well i definitely was a little worried that one or some of my guests might not like pumpkin but they are all fans of the flavor as you all should be pumpkin is delicious <laughs> I love my pumpkin coffees and maybe that's lame, but I think it's delicious. So pumpkin dips, pumpkin cookies, uh, we got pumpkin pretzels. We are not holding back on the pumpkin, but let's get started.
ahead and prep my baked brie. This is definitely early. It only bakes for I think like 25 minutes and it's 3.30. And so I'm really nervous about my ability to assemble it correctly. And I think it's probably the simplest version of this kind of brie dip little thing, but I'm, I'm just nervous. I'm supposed to use twine to make it look like a pumpkin, which should be super cute. I'm not confident in myself and my ability to do it, but <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna try. So I've shifted my Gilmore Girls into the kitchen. Gonna start just taking my time and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Okay, pause. We are getting ready. Bree is in the oven, but Cameron is home. He just won a disc golf tournament. What a guy. Wow. And our birthday present for our friend came in, and she's coming over tonight, but we're giving it to her on Tuesday. But I'm going to go ahead and film Cameron opening it. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, here we go from uh, Bushwick Avenue, Brooklyn, New York. Don't get our address on the shot. <laughs> That's a return thing. I hope it looks good. Oh my gosh, I love it. Wowza. <laughs> I'm a Paxton Holly Yoshida boy. Paxton. So. <laughs> and it's very fitting that you're wearing your Taylor's version shirt. Yeah, how about it? That's so funny. I hope she loves it. <laughs> right. So like I said, we've got the soup going. It's definitely thicker than I intended. I put a lot of chicken in there, but Cameron said it was good. So it tastes really good. he tried a little bite, got the mm. chips in my nice little pink bowl, got my little wax warmer on. I put out all of these crackers and pretzels like so. Our brie will go right there. I did attempt, I can't remember if I said this, to tie the twine around it and make it look like a pumpkin, but I'm really not confident one in my cooking abilities and one in my not tying abilities. So we'll see, need to move this. Still got Gilmore Girls on, which is great. It has been making me a little bit calmer. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, our friends will be here in about an hour or so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So pretty cool. Cameron will get to hang out with the boys too. Boys, frisbees, <laughs> football, yeah. All right. <laughs> here is my cool new sweatshirt, Autumn Enthusiast. Seems very fitting. It is from Darling Desi, a YouTuber who I feel like I am heavily influenced by, but that's okay. Um, I absolutely love it. I hadn't actually tried it on. It's like the exact same color as this nail. That's pretty great. Um, I hadn't tried it on until right now, and the sleeves are very big, which I like. <laughs> so I'm excited. We got about an hour till people get here. Again, waiting on the brie. 
Uh, I hope I timed everything right. I always feel weird preparing people to come over. I feel like I'm either way, way ahead of time or I don't do half the things I mean to do. So right now, I, I think we're feeling okay. <laughs> Show her. Sunday we just got back from church um, one of the best parts about having a party and making a lot of food is that you have leftovers so we are about to heat up some soup um, eat the rest of that brie and probably some of the pumpkin pie dip for dessert um, all while watching Bachelor in Paradise now that's not maybe the most fall of choices that we can make obviously very summery um, but we have to we have to, I'm afraid. <laughs> so um, maybe we'll watch a fall movie or something tonight. But for now, let's heat up some soup, um, get that dip going, and enjoy some Bachelor in Paradise. <laughs> mm -hmm. 